Hey guys, Case Man Rules here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to render your videos uh, like I do. Uh, a long time ago, I made tutorials on how to render in HD and stuff like that. But my methodology has changed a lot on how I get things uh, rendered and set for YouTube. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it now, and I have to say it's a much more efficient process, and it still gives you that HD quality. So I recently uh, just now recorded um, this like just test just for fun so um, I'm just gonna open this up and we're gonna use this as the test for this tutorial I drag it down into this bar and what I immediately get is a project settings now if you've never done this before which you probably haven't if you're doing if you're watching it as you do this tutorial you're gonna want to go down to custom and set it as your screen resolution so if you don't know what your screen resolution is just uh, go on down over here to your desktop, right click, and for me it just says screen resolution for you probably because you're going to be in Vista. Click personalize, and then you're going to have the option to click screen resolution and that. If you're, um, and it'll tell you, and it'll tell you a value. If you're in Windows 7, then just screen resolution, and you'll get a value that looks like this. It'll be a number by a number. Um, so you just need to remember that number. And what you need to do now back in Camtasia is uh, when you, let me just remove this right quick. When you drag this down and you get this, now all you have to do is go down to custom and set in your screen resolution. So mine's 1024 by 800. I've also got this preset which you'll have later after you go through the rest of the process, but for now, just do that and um, click change the video dimensions. Don't leave it on the smart focus, that's bad. So, um, so after you do that, you can go ahead and edit the video however you want, do zooms or whatever, if you wanna zoom in some on something or whatever you do. I do those a lot in my videos if you haven't already noticed and there are probably gonna be quite a few in this as well. That's about it. So after you're done with that, you can go on over and click produce video as. This is where the important part comes in. What you're going to want to do, since again you've never done this before, is click add slash edit preset. This is only if you're in Camtasia Studio 6 that you'll get this option. Otherwise you're going to need to go to custom production settings, but it's pretty much the same. So if you're in 6, you're going to get here and you're going to click new. If you're in 5, you'll be at this right now, but it won't say preset, but same diff. Uh, what you need to do is click on WMV click next well actually my bad you need to name it if you're in Camtasia Studio 6 not if you're in 5 so you probably want to name it something like YouTube HD make sure it's on WMV that's not gonna work mine's already named that but just name it just name it and you'll go on over here leave this where it is don't change that at all click next Alright, custom size. Um, again, you need to set it to your screen resolution. So mine's 1024 by 800. Oops. <laughs> um, and leave these two things alone unless you want to reduce file size by disabling callouts or the speed or whatever. But I'll leave that same, it doesn't make a difference. YouTube will handle it all. So just click next there. If you want to include a watermark, just go ahead and click options and you can browse for your watermark. And then you know you might want to leave the transparent color probably or change the image scale if you've set it up that way like I have, but that's just however you want to do it. And after you get that done, click finish. And now you have this preset here. Or if you're in Camtasia Studio 5, it'll automatically start rendering. But uh, here we have this YTHD. So uh, now you can scroll on down to this YTHD right here. Click yes. And click next. Now we're going to name it what we want to name it. So I'm going to do it just to the desktop. And we're just going to call this tutorial. Actually, no, my bad. That's going to go up here. Um, I don't like to organize it into a subfolder, but whatever you want. Click next and finish and your video will start rendering. Now as you see, it's rendering really fast right now. Actually, it would be going faster if I wasn't screen recording right now. But, you know, that was just like a 10 second clip. But, you know, if you're doing something longer, it takes longer, but a lot, it's a lot shorter than how I used to do. 
I used to have to render videos in an hour, now I'm getting it done in like 15 minutes, so that's a lot better. And it still provides HD like you want. So now we've just rendered here, and the video has just come up to show you what it's going to look like. So that's uh, what it looks like in here, but it's a little bit different when you upload it to YouTube. So after I upload it to YouTube, there's something special that I do that you may or may not have to do depending on your screen resolution. If your screen re resolution is in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you can leave it the same. But if you're not, like I'm not, I'm in like a 4x3 or something like that. Um, all you need to do is when you upload your video and it asks you for tags, See, this is my latest video and it's in here. When it asks you for tags, make sure you put this in right here. Uh, this will be in the description. It's yt equal or colon stretch equals 16 by 9. That'll stretch your video to 16 by 9. Now, a lot of people say stretching is bad, and I agree, but I'm not stretching it very much at all. It's really close to almost being 16 by 9. So if I stretch the video a little bit, you're not even going to be able to tell. And if you watch my video, you can't tell that it's stretched. It doesn't warp anything. So it's just fine for something like that. If you have like some sort of weird dis like distorting or something like that, you might need to pick a different way to render it in, or you might want to just leave it with the bars on the side or whatever. But after you upload it and do the YT stretch equals 16 by 9, um, you're going to get the whole window being taken up like my videos are, and you're going to have the option to have it in HD after a little bit of time. And YouTube's gotten really good at making sure your videos are in HD as soon as possible, a lot better than it used to be. So uh, that's about it. That's how I render my videos. That's how this video is going to be rendered. That's how it all works. So uh, if you want to use this method, I definitely would recommend it. It gives you great quality, and it's really quick rendering time. Very simple sort of stuff. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how I uh, render my videos for YouTube, and I'll see you guys next time.